What's going on guys? Rob from ClicksGeek and today's video we're going to run through how to use just Google's conversion tracking. All right, we're going to set up how to track call extension phone calls. We're going to set up how to how to track um, contact form submissions on your website. And we're also going to set up how to how to track phone calls that come from Google ads when someone clicks to call you on your website. What do I mean, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about traffic that's coming from your Google ads that just goes to your website and they just click a phone number on your website and we're going to show you how to set that up so you can track that as a conversion in your Google ads campaign. All right, so let's dive right in. It's going to be a quick video because I'm just going to show you how to set these up and where to put the codes. I'm not going to actually paste the codes in, in example pages like I normally do. So this is a quick video guys, but you should be able to follow along pretty easily. All right, so you're looking at our Google ads account. What you're going to do is go up here, which I don't know if you're able to see this, but it's called Tools and Settings, little wrench icon. So you're going to come up here, you're going to click that. We're going to go into Conversions. And you can see here we already have a test one set up, but we're going to set up, the first one we're going to set up is going to be Call Extension Tracking. All right, now Call Extension, I'm not sure if you know what that is, but it's just, you basically put a phone number on your ad. All right, you attach a phone number to your Google ad and people can click to call that directly from their their mobile phone. Or they can see it on a, on the desktop version if you're running if you're trying to get show your ads on desktop. When someone searches Google, that the number will be below your ad. <clears throat> so let's just set that up real quick and then I'll show you an example of one. So we hit that. Come over here to phone calls. Calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. Continue. We're gonna name it, and I just usually just do call extension lead. I don't set a value. You can set a value for this conversion if you want this conversion to just for revenue tracking purposes and a few different bidding strategies. You can set a uh, a dollar amount for this conversion. I'm not gonna do that right now. I want it to only fire once. Now here's something interesting. So this is call length. You can you can tell Google when you want this to fire as a lead. So you can do it for one second. You can do it for as long as you want. Um, so most people do it for a minute. So after 60 seconds, Google's Pixel will fire, and that will count in your AdWords account as a lead, as a conversion. All right? So you can see that. I usually set it as one second. Now a lot of people don't like that. That's okay. I'm my purpose. I'm looking for keywords that are driving actions and from there I can if I, if I'm someone calls and nobody picks up and it rings for 20 seconds that's in my opinion that's still a lead if you know no one answered or they call for 10 seconds and they hang up I want to know which keywords are driving those actions so that's why I just put one second to count that as a conversion obviously like I said you can do that as, as long as you want but I want to see all the keywords that are driving actions click through Conversion window, 30 days is fine, including conversions, yes. Attribution model, last click is fine for right now. Create and continue. That's it. So now we got our call extension lead, and I'll show you how to set that up in your uh, campaign as well. So let's move this over here. There we go. All right, hang with me guys. So let's go into one of our demo campaigns. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we'll do a Carolina buyer. So if you're going to see to set up your call extension in your campaign, you're gonna come into your campaign. You're gonna come into ads and extensions, come down here come down here to sorry guys my computer is like dragging ass today I don't know what the hell is going on come down here to extensions we're gonna click this little plus button here we're gonna set up our call extension or if you already have it just go into call extension you're gonna paste your phone number that you're using right here doesn't really matter if it's your main number on your website or whatever you're gonna put that number here you have to make sure call reporting is turned on you can just do that in the campaign settings it's really easy to do now this is where you have to connect our call conversion we just set up with the call extension in your campaign. So you're going to come down here to conversion action. You're going to choose the one we just set up, call extension lead. All right, and you're going to hit save. 
And that's it. That's all you got to do. And that will uh, set up that call that uh, call tracking for that call extension in your campaign. So obviously I'm not going to do that because I don't have anything set up here. But So if we go back into conversions, so now we just set up our, our call extension lead. We're good with that. Now let's do contact form lead. So we're going to hit the blue plus sign again, come to the website. We're going to choose contact. And it kind of gives you a little conversion in here. Just say contact form, submission, keep it simple, or lead, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to use a value again. If you want to set a value for this lead, you can. I want this to track as one. Now, guys, this is for lead generation only. Okay, this is not for ecom or e-commerce stuff or Shopify stores. All right, I, I don't. I'm not showing you how to set up conversion tracking for any type of um, shopping, Google shopping ads, nothing like that. All right, this is for lead generation. So we only want one call or one form submission to count as one lead. All right. So we're going to set that as one. Click through conversion window, 30 days. Uh, view through one. Including conversions, yes. Attribution model, last click, good. Create and continue. And we're going to install the tag ourselves. So this is really, really simple. All we're going to do is copy this tag. You're going to go into your landing page or your website, and you're going to put, you're going to paste this tag in the head section, the head tags of every single page of your website. All right. Now, if you're using WordPress, which most of you probably are, you can uh, there's there's plugins you can download that lets you paste a code across all of the uh, pages and posts and stuff on your website. So you can use that, or you can just go into the pages manually and and paste this tag in the head. Just important to understand. You have to put this tag on the thank you page, okay? I can't stress that enough. It's got to go on the thank you page as well <clears throat> because, it's, or else it's not going to track the conversions correctly. So that's all we're doing. We're taking this tag. So go do that. Pause this video. Go take this tag pause, and paste it on every single page of your website or if you're a landing page, just paste it in the head tag of your landing page. All right, then once you're done with that, we're going to come down here. Now this is, the, this is what actually tracks the leads. All right, this is the event snippet code. We're going to copy this tag, and this tag is going to go only on the thank you page, okay? Only the thank you page. You can place it right below the global site tag in the head of the thank you page. And that's it. Hit next, and you're good to go. So now we're set up to track call extension leads. We're set up to track form submission leads. The last step is we need to see if, if we're driving traffic to our website or landing page, and we're not using a third-party call tracking software like CallRail or um, uh, what's the other one? I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Twilight, Twilight, Twilio. There's a ton of them. Anyway, if we're not using a third-party call tracking, we can use Google's tools. I mean, they give us the tools to track this stuff. So it's important that you're doing this because we need to know where every piece of every prospect, every piece of traffic is going. We want to make sure that there's no they're not calling. And we don't know we're sending traffic to your website, your landing page. And we got we got to know if it's working or not. Because if it's not, if if we're not, if we can't see people calling, then you don't have accurate statistics on if the campaign's successful or not. That's why this is so important. All right. So to set up how to track when someone lands on your website from Google and just calls, we're gonna do that right here. So hit this blue plus, phone calls, and we're gonna choose. You can really choose either of these. We're gonna choose calls to a phone number on your website. Continue. Let's say calls from website. Keep it simple. You can, again, you can set a dollar amount here for that. We're not going to do that. We want to make sure we're only counting one call. And again, call length. Um, this is up to you guys totally. Like you said, you know how I do it. I like to see which keywords are driving action, so I do one second. Click through conversion window, 30 days, including conversions, yes. Attribution model, last click, yep. Looks good, create and continue. We're gonna install the tag ourselves. Now remember, we just did the global site tag for the uh, contact form submission, so we're not gonna have to install this, right? This should already be on all of your pages. And remember, including your thank you page. It should be on every page of your website, global site tag. Next up, what we're gonna do is the phone snippet. This is really important, right? So we're going to put our phone number in here. We're going to hit create snippet. 
we're going to take this tag here that we created with our phone number that we want to track. Now it's important to understand guys, the number you put in here has to be the number that's on your website or your landing page, okay? Clearly displayed wherever, however many times, there should only really be one phone number because this is only going to swap one number that you put in here. So it's important that you put that number that's on your website right here and you hit create snippet. Come down here, we're going to take this tag and we're going to install this tag on every single page again of your website between the head tags, all right? You can just place it right below the global site tag, doesn't matter. And that's it, we hit next. And now we're set up to track call extension leads, contact form submissions, and we can, we can even track if someone comes from Google and just doesn't submit a form and just clicks, clicks to call the number on your website or picks up the phone and calls, your web, calls the number on your website. So we're set up now to track everything. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, I know it can be confusing. I try to do it as, try to explain it as easily as possible. It's really not hard, guys. It, and if you, if you need to set the stuff up, just like I said, follow through my video and just pause it at the certain points where you gotta go do stuff and go do it, come back. And it's it should be no problem for you to set this up. All right, so that should be it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, check out the links in the description. I'll put some stuff in there for you guys. All right. Later.